So now we have set up Malwarebytes on our PCs and we want it now to run on autopilot because this one is the free version and it won't run on a schedule without us setting it up on a schedule. And there's no way of doing it in the program itself. So, settings. Scheduler settings. This feature is only available to licensed users. So, what we can do is set it up to run on task scheduler. So we're going to do that now. So click start. All programs. Up here to accessories. Down here to system tools. And down here to task scheduler. Your user account control. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Click yes and task scheduler will open and our first job here now is to make an action so create a basic task and we're going to name the task malware bytes scan Description, run a scan. In malware bytes. Click next. Set it up to run daily. You need to run them daily so that it'll catch any malware spyware that's on your computer. Click next. And we want the time. So we're going to set it for six in the evening. And synchronize across all time zones. Click, then click next and we have an action so start a program click next and now we have to set up a program script so click on browser here and go into local disk C program files if it's 64-bit go to program files it will be only program files and if it's 32-bit go to program files x86 double click on it there and we'll scroll down and we'll find malware bytes there it is there double click on that we're looking for the m bam.exe now the .exe mightn't be there but this is the one that you'd um, click on okay so just just click on it highlight it so mbam.exe or it'll just be mbam right so it's an application file so click open and that will be copied to the script here. So it's C, program files, malware bytes, anti malware, backslash mbam.exe. And then we have to add an argument. So the argument is forward slash quick q u i c k. S C A N Terminate T E R M I N A T E Right Quick Scan Terminate all one word forward slash quick scan terminate Start in option we don't need it So click next and then you have the summary So you have name description trigger 
daily at six in the evening every day start the program see program files malware bytes anti-malware mbam.exe quick scan terminate okay now we we should we, we have to open the properties but we won't open it here we'll just click finish and I'll just show you how to open them from inside task scheduler so click finish task scheduler library and it may take a few minutes for it to come up and there it is there so it's the scan one so right click on it click on right click on it and go down here to properties click on properties and the properties window will open now it's this one down here at the bottom that we're interested in run with highest privileges make sure that guy is ticked okay and you can leave all the other settings as they are and as I explained uh, when we were setting up um, this cleanup that you should leave all these settings as their default and that's the history there okay so now that's that one set up and now the next one we have to set up is the update so you have to go back into task scheduler local first and then click action and then create basic task so type a name malware bytes update description run up dates for malware T E S and click next okay again daily right time we wanted to run so we had the first we had the scan running at six in the evening so we want our updates to be done after the scan has completed because if you run updates before the scan you have to click OK Malwarebytes goes out to get the latest definitions and it gets them and pulls them down into your computer it, it, it opens a window um, stating that you have to Malwarebytes has updated successfully and there's a box there that you have to click OK. So if you run the updates before the scan, you have to physically click on the box that comes up on the updates box in order for the scan to run because that stops Malwarebytes from running any further scans or updates until you click OK on that box. I will show you that in a minute anyway. So we're gonna set it for seven in the evening which is an hour after the scan. So this way we know that the scan will run every time without flaw because we'll have clicked OK by the time the scan is coming around for the next time. So if you don't do it this way, then you have to be around the computer. So this is why I'm setting it up this way to run the, to check for the updates after it runs the scan. So that it'll have done the updates and then it'll be ready for the next time. But if you do it the other way, then you have to be at your computer in order for that scan to work. Because you have to click OK when the updates are completed. So click Next. Make sure Starter Program is selected. Click Next. And then Start a Program daily. So we have to go and look for the script. So click on Browser here. Again, it's in your local disk C, program files, and down here, malware bytes, and this one here, same one again. Click open, and then add an argument to it. And this argument is forward slash update. And then go down here and click next. And there's the results, uh, the summary of um, what we're after setting up. 
Again, you can tick that box if you want properties to open, but we won't. So we're going to go in here to the library. Sometimes it takes a while for it to um, set up. You may need to close it in order to see that showing up. So there it is now. So you, you, you might have to close just to check the properties the first time you set it up. So it's the updates we're going into here, properties. And we're going down here to the general tab and down here at the bottom run with highest privileges. As I said earlier, you need to have this one ticked so that um, the user account control will, will not prompt you to run the scan or run the updates, okay? So once we have that set, we can click OK. And that's it, you're set. Your malware bytes is now set up to run automatically on your computer. Now I just want to show you what the story is with this um, malware bytes updates scan. So we're going to run a scan here. We're going to run it. So there it is running there now. And once it's downloaded the, the definitions for the spyware and malware, this guy opens up. So this is the one I was talking about, Malwarebytes. The database was successfully updated from version to the new version. So it's updated completely now, but you see, the, 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 you have to click OK in order for this to shut down Malwarebytes. So if you were to run the updates before the scan, before the other one, the other schedule task this would stay open until you click OK so the scan would not run while this window is still open okay so that's it our bytes is now set up to run an autopilot on your computer <laughs>